Welcome to the production game, your daily espresso shot of instant insight and inspiration. So today we're getting to the sharp end of the mini series I've been doing about how to finish a track uh, you're bored of, how to avoid, use or get rid of that, uh, those graveyard hard drives full of those unfinished hopes and dreams as I like to call them. Um, and in the last couple of videos I've talked about not getting bored in the first place, basically finishing those, uh, those tracks quickly, the ones that you've not started yet, and then about the, with the tracks you are already bored of, maybe you don't actually need to finish them, which goes against a lot of what I talk about, but sometimes uh, momentum is your number one goal, and sometimes if the loss in momentum isn't worth it, it's best to put a different perspective on those unfinished tracks by maybe uh, putting them on a sketchbook, in a sketchbook file, calling them sketches, sort of raw material, starting points to use, um, making sure you bounce them all down so that you can listen to them um, in, in a few months' time, um, putting them uh, in a playlist, maybe, um, so that you can listen to them in the context of other tracks. Um, so today we're going to talk about those tracks you really do want to finish, the things that you can't bear not finishing, and I'm sure there's uh, quite a few of those. So um, basically I've got a pretty simple 10-step um, process for doing this which will avoid many of the difficulties uh, you have with finishing these tracks. So the first thing to do Bearing in mind you've already decided you definitely want to finish it, you don't want to put it on your sketchbook hard drive or anything like that, is to oops, set aside the track you've been working on. Now this is preferably, if you've got a deadline, if you're doing a remix with somebody and you're, and you're bored of it, you might not be able to do this, but preferably set it aside for however long it, you need to. It depends on how uh, long you've been stuck on it, how much kind of pain there is associated with it. The more pain and the longer you've been stuck on it, the longer um, it is good to set it aside. Maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe it's just a couple of days. It depends um, how much kind of emotional charge there is around you having not finished this track. Obviously you might not be able to do that if you've had a deadline. I've finished many, many remixes that I was uh, bored of uh, by using the rest of this process. So step two is once you've set it aside, if you can, is go not in your studio, in a different situation. So maybe in your kitchen or I don't know, in your bathroom or, or whatever. Listen again with or in your car although you might not be able to do it if you're driving with the pen and paper, but listen to it again with the pen and paper in front of you. Just listen to it once, don't write anything down on the uh, pen and paper, and when you've finished listening to it, basically stop, don't listen to it again, and write on the pen and paper your, the ideas that pop into your head, and I'm sure there will be some especially if you've uh, been able to take time off from it, especially if you've had some space from the track. So make sure you do not listen to it. Oops, not listen, it's listen. More than two or three times. Okay, this is really important. You Prep the best the, the best number of times to listen to it is once. Write down the ideas you have and then that's it. Okay? Don't listen to it more than two or three times. You don't want to get yourself bored of it again. Okay? Listen to it as many times as you can get those ideas that were in your head out. Um, it is sometimes difficult to remember these ideas when we're listening to a to, to a track. So uh, you might need to listen to it more than once, but the best amount of time, a number of times to listen to it is once. 
Then, without listening to it again, I'm just making, <laughs> making this very clear, put these ideas into an order of attack. The order, a logical order, which you're going to um, work on them. Okay? Then, add the other things you need to do, or the other actions you need to take to finish it. Okay? Because there's going to be some things you're just going to have to do, you know, like mixing and, and, and whatever else. Right? Then, simply, for each of the things, because now you've got a checklist, haven't you? You've essentially got a, got a checklist, a list of things you're going to do. For each of those things, add, work out how, um, how long each of those things you're going to spend, sorry, how long you're going to spend doing each of those things. Add timings for each of the items on your checklist. Then, decide on a deadline. Now this means two things. It basically means decide when you're going to start it and decide when you're going to finish it. Just saying I'm going to finish it by the end of Friday is not good enough. What you need to do is you need to say I'm going to start it at 6 a.m. on Friday morning and I'm going to finish it at 7.30 a.m. on Friday morning. Decide on the amount of time you're going to spend, when you're going to start it, and when you're going to finish it. You'll have timings for each of these um, actions you're, uh, you're going to have to take to finish it. So you know, you'll know roughly how long you're going to take to finish it. So decide on the deadline, start and finish point. Um, let me just check, you can see, yes. Uh, then number nine, remind yourself That um, remind yourself that you are not the best per you are not the best person to know whether this track is any good because if you've been stuck on it for a long time and if you're bored of it then you're not going you're not you do not have an objective view of it so in between the time you write this list and decide on your deadlines and all that kind of stuff and you actually sit in front of the DAW I suggest maybe doing it, doing it on a new day so your brain has time to process all the information. But constantly remind yourself to, to redefine finished. Finished does not mean for this track, finished does not mean that you love it, finished does not mean that you think it's brilliant, finished means that you have checked off the items on your checklist and once you've checked them off that is what finished means. So just remind yourself, you are not the best person to make a, a quality judgment about this track because you're bored of it. And then, of course, finally, the most important bit, do it. Just sit in front of the DAW with your piece of paper, with a checklist on it, preferably with a timer. There's a really good iPhone app called Task Player for doing this. You can put individual tasks in a, a player um, and you can even assign the amount of time for each of those individual tasks and literally play the to-do list and it will count down each of the items on your checklist. You can pause them and you can fast forward them, them as well. So it's really good. I'm sure there are other ones for, for Android. Um, I, I've seen there are a few for iPhone, so there are bound to be other ones for Android as well. So do it, preferably with a timer. The timer isn't essential, uh, but you're just going to need to keep an eye on the clock. And remember, when you have got through your checklist, your track's finished. It doesn't matter what you think of it. Don't worry. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you think it's any good or not. Just finish it. I used this process. I mean, I'll admit, when I was actually uh, working on music, I didn't, um, I didn't sort of codify it. I didn't define it as much as this. But this is essentially the process I used to finish a lot of tracks that I was bored of. Some of them ended up being great, um, and some of them ended up being not so great. But that's okay. Um, as I said, some of the, a lot of the tracks I finished with this process, I had to miss out uh, number one um, set aside because um, I was on a deadline. But the rest of it really, it really works. Essentially, what you're doing is you are 
trying to remove yourself, remove all the emotional charge a, 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 around finishing this track you've been stuck with um, and just getting it done, getting it out the door by hook or by crook, essentially. So uh, that's it for today. There's, there is actually another suggestion I have if you are struggling to finish a track, and that is um, taking it with you to Beat Camp. Now, what is Beat Camp? Well, let me just see if I can share my screen with you. Um, hang on, I need to create a new window. Um, Beat Camp is a... something that one of uh, my Start Now Finish Fast people is putting on. So if you're in London on the 17th of May, then here we are. Okay, so if you're in London on the 17th of May and you are interested in a one-day urban retreat for music producers, then go to thisisbeatcamp.com. Um, it's being held on the 17th of May at the amazing Downstairs at Mother in London's happening Shoreditch. Um, pairing up in teams of two, everyone will work together in an open creative space providing a very different feel to the usual production environment. Each pair will lay down an entire dra track over the course of the day. The focus will be on rapidly getting down great creative ideas and making swift progress. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> at the end of the day, everyone will relax with some beers during a group playback session. This will provide an opportunity to hear all the work and chat about the experience. So that's on the 17th of May. Uh, if you are in London or near London or can get to London around then, I thoroughly recommend it. The guy, Mark, who's putting it on, I've told you about already, he's the guy that got that uh, major label remix. Um, he's also on my um, case studies page. Um, I think he finished, well, he went from finished like three tracks a year to one track a week, so he knows all about how to finish music fast. If I was in London, I wish I was, I would definitely be going to that. But bear in mind, there are only 20 spaces available, and it's on the 17th of May. So on this page somewhere, there will be a link to go there. I'm, I don't have any um, financial um, um, stake in this at all. I'm just doing this as a favor to uh, one of my Start Now Finish Fast people, Mark, he was been with me from the start. In fact, he was the first person ever to sign up, and he's an absolutely fantastic guy, uh, really, really resourceful, and he writes a mean tune as well. So go go to the link on this page. This is uh, Beat Camp is the uh, URL. And that's it for today, um, and I will see you again tomorrow. Um, onwards and upwards, and keep making that music.